In this video, we'll aim to help you think about different ways that numbers are made up, and we'll begin to think about connections between different numbers. We'll also begin to recognise quantities up to six without needing to count. This is known as subitizing. We see quantities in different ways all the time in our day-to-day -day lives. This might be things like dice patterns or domino patterns if we're playing a game. It might be finger patterns when we're looking at our hands. Or maybe we spot things in life, like flowers, and we want to find out how many there are. Or sometimes we see things in the classroom, like these dots on a five frame, or a shape that looks like this. Pause the video and try to think about what's the same and what's different about these different things. There are lots of things that you might have noticed. We'll share some ideas here. Were your ideas the same or different? You might have noticed that some things were just in one colour. All blue, all black, all white, or all red. And other things had more than one colour. You might have noticed that some things seem to be showing one group of five. One dice pattern shows five dots, one hand has five fingers, and one red shape has five circles. You might have noticed that some items seem to be organised in groups of different sizes. For example, on this domino, you might have seen a four on the left, and one more on the right. Four and one makes five, which means there are five dots all together. Or maybe on the red shape, you noticed four circles, organised a bit like a square shape. With one more circle above. Again, four and one makes five altogether. You might have spotted different groups from the ones we just saw. With the flowers, you might have thought about them as two on the top row and three on the bottom row. Or on the red shape, instead of seeing it as one group of five or a four and a one, you might have seen the circles grouped as a two and a three, a bit like the flowers. With the dice pattern, instead of seeing it as one group of five, you might have seen it as a three, picturing a shape a bit like a triangle in your mind. And then another two. On the five frame, you might have also seen a group of three yellow dots and a group of two blue dots. Did you notice that it doesn't matter if you have two and three or three and two? All these items show a total of five altogether. Other people might have seen them grouped like this. On the dice pattern, they might have seen a two, another two, and a one. Or on the domino pattern, someone might have said, I see double two, which is four, and one more, which is five dots all together. They might have seen something similar on the red shape. Double two is four, and one more is five circles all together. Again, you might have noticed, no matter how you saw it, the total number for each was five. Another thing you might have noticed is that even though all the pictures look a bit different, if you count up the total number of dots, circles, flowers or fingers on each item, the total is always five. Let's look at something different now. We'll show you some dots really quickly and you have to figure out how many you saw. Try to think about how you worked out the total. Here we go. So how many dots did you see and how did you see them? We'll talk through a few different ways here, but you might have seen something different. You might have seen that there were six dots and been able to work this out instantly without counting. 
This is known as subitizing. Or perhaps you saw the six made up from three lots of two. Two, two and two. Maybe you saw the six made up from two lots of three. This is also known as double three. Three on the top and three on the bottom. Maybe the threes were grouped in a different way. Three on the left, making a shape like a triangle, and another three on the right, also making a shape like a triangle. Or perhaps you saw it as a four and a two. No matter how you saw it, there were six dots all together. So to summarise, hopefully that's helped you think about different ways that numbers are made up. We started to think about the connections between different numbers. And we started to recognise quantities up to six without needing to count. This was known as subitizing. <laughs>